Hebrews the 11th chapter is known as the chapter in the Bible. It's called the faith chapter. But the Lord brought my mind to one verse of scripture. In the 21st verse where it says by faith Jacob when he was a dying blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped leaning on top of his staff. If we go into the word of God and we study in the Old Testament what Paul is writing about here in the book of Hebrews we go back to the story of Jacob and of Joseph and we find that Joseph was sold by his brothers into slavery and ended up in the land of Egypt. Is there anybody here with me tonight that has read the word of God? And, and I thought about when he got into the land of Egypt, he was tried and tested, but he held true to God no matter what come his way. And the Bible says after a while that Joseph prospered when he began to, to develop an anointing that allowed him to interpret the dreams yeah. of the Pharaoh. God. And the Bible says that the Pharaoh put Joseph over all that he had in all of the land. And the Bible says that as Joseph began to prosper, that Joseph took unto himself a wife of the land of Egypt. And when you were a royal bloodline or, or you were placed in a royal position, you had influence and you had power in the land of Egypt. And he married into a family that had influence in the land of Egypt. And his sons, materially wise, had anything that young boys could ever ask for. They enjoyed the finest that Egypt had to offer. They enjoyed the finest clothes. They enjoyed the finest home. They, they dwelt in, in the house house of Pharaoh himself. But there come a day, no doubt, when there, there was a visitor that came out of a land that was called the land of Canaan. And his, his name was Jacob. And, and Jacob, when he made the journey, he heard that Joseph yet lived and he was alive. And he, and he drew near. And when he drew near, the Bible says uh, that Joseph lighted down uh, and he ran out to meet his father. Uh, and when they met, they embraced him. Hello to each other and I thought that uh, there was a famine in the land that had, had stripped Jacob uh, of everything about it that he had earthly possession on drove him to the point where he sent his eldest son Benjamin uh, into the land of Egypt just to get some help uh, come on just bear with me for a little while because I want to take this somewhere here in just a minute but the Bible says that when he got there uh, much to his surprise the son that he thought was dead uh, and gone, God had established and had made a way for his people and there was grain stored up enough so that they could eat off the plenty out of the land of the Egyptians. And when Pharaoh heard that Joseph's family had rolled into the land, he said, I want them to dwell in the land of Goshen, which is the finest that we have to offer. But the Bible says that by reason of age, that Jacob's eyes had grown dim he was a man that had seen many mountains and he had seen many valleys. He had walked many miles, but he said, I can't die until I lay my eyes upon my son. Is there anybody in here? I'm going to get into this. I can feel an anointing when I get in my spirit. And the Bible teaches us that when he come into the land that he must have marveled because he probably never seen the likes of the buildings and the likes of all and the likes of the crops and the armies and the horses and the chariots. He had never seen the gold or the riches. He had never seen the things that the land of Egypt had to offer. The only thing he knew is that he was the descendant of Abraham and of Isaac. Is there anybody in here? Is that Abraham had left his homeland in search of a city whose builder and maker was not Sure. 
this land and this country. He must have marveled over the architecture. He must have marveled over the buildings. He must have marveled over the fabric and the clothes and the storehouses. And he thought to himself, oh my son, he is ruler over all these things that I see around me. And God has established him. But the Bible says there came a point at a time where it says that Jacob was a dying. He, he knew that his last moments in life had reached him. And he was laying down. And the Bible says that he called for Jed, for, for Joseph's two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh. He called for them. He said, go sin for the boys. Go sin for the boys. And, 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 and they went out and they found Joseph's sons. And when they found Joseph's sons, I don't know where they were at. They could have been in the house of Pharaoh. They could have been running all over the, the riches of Egypt. They could have been riding the finest horses that Egypt had to offer. They could have been eating from the finest table. They could have been enjoying all the things that Egypt had to offer. But here Jacob was and he was dying and he said, send them boys into me. Send them boys into me. I'm a pilgrim in a strange land. And he knew he was dying. And he knew that he didn't have long left to live. And he wanted to see them boys with his own eyes. The mama was an Egyptian, but the daddy came from the lineage of Abraham and Isaac. Oh, come on, can you say amen? On one side, they belong to Egypt, but on the other side, they belong to Abraham. Is there anybody here? The Bible says that the flesh wars against the spirit, because on one side, you have the spirit of the world, and on the other side, you have the Holy Ghost power of God. servants. Come on now, they have servants in the Bible days. And they wait 